Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. I'm here with my Traeger Master and we are gonna be sharing five of our family's, or four, four I think it is, four of our family's favorite dinners to make on the Traeger. Jake does the Traegering, so you're gonna hear him filming on this video. We film this over the course of a few weeks because we generally only use the Traeger about once or twice a week, so I hope you guys enjoy seeing some of the recipes that we made and learning from the Traeger master himself. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up before you go. Leave a comment down below if you have a Traeger recipe that you love in your house or if you have any questions, we'll be sure to get back to you. But I hope you guys enjoy this video of lots of yummy food and you know, a little PSA, don't watch it hungry. So the first meal we wanted to share with you guys that we absolutely love making on the Traeger are uh, fajitas, chicken fajitas at home. So Jake has taken some chicken breasts here and sliced them in half so that they are um, not quite as thick. So he kind of, there's a name for that, butterfly them I think, cut them in half. And then he just applies this taco blend seasoning. This is the one that we like, but any will do, but this is the one that we really enjoy, as well as some avocado, avocado oil. And then he kind of like presses it into the chicken and squeezes some fresh lime juice on top and then just allows it to sit there uh, for you know 30 minutes you could leave it there for a little bit longer if you wanted to um, and then that is all we add for seasoning to put onto the traeger of course for fajitas you're gonna need peppers you could choose whatever colors you like and the quantity you like um, we had a lot of green and so we're just using what we have as well as an entire white onion so you're gonna slice up your peppers nice and thin uh, length uh, way I don't know a better way to say that and then put them into a bowl mix it with whatever oil you like we use avocado oil and then you're just gonna leave those peppers in there until your cast iron is warmed up so Jake warms the cast iron that already is coated with oil um, as the chicken cooks and then once the chicken is about done and it's time to put the peppers on because these don't take as long, you're going to dump your bowl into the warm cast iron and that's gonna give it that sizzle effect that you often see with fajitas. So that's all you're gonna do. Here is our Traeger. This is a Pro Series Traeger. I do not remember the number, um, but anyways, for the fajitas, you are going to want it to be at 350. So we're still uh, preheating there, but you're gonna wanna get your Traeger to 350. That's what Jake likes to cook the fajitas at that temperature. So the chicken is now ready to go onto the Traeger, and so how long would you estimate that it'll take? 35 minutes. 35 minutes to reach an internal temp of 165 on the chicken. So of course, check it and make sure that it's good um, for you. We have a digital thermometer that I got on Amazon that I'll link down below for you guys. But that's what we, that's what he does when he cooks on the Traeger is always by internal temperature. And I think that that's what makes it taste so good is because you're not overcooking the chicken like you would often on a propane um, gas grill. So 350 for about 30 to 35 minutes. And like I said, the peppers are the last step. All right, tonight I am making bacon-wrapped turkey meatloaf. I've got bacon on my right, two packages with two pounds of ground turkey. Uh, you could use ground beef, but I prefer bird and pig mixture. Um, standard Italian-style breadcrumbs. I'm gonna add some Traeger dry rub. Um, to the mix to make the meatloaf and then I already pre-made 
pre-dice some um, some spinach and red onion. I'll make the meatloaf in the in the bowl, and then I'll transfer the meat portion to this. Um, I got this tray from Costco. It's pretty handy when handling like raw meat and stuff. And then I'll wrap the meat, the turkey meatloaf with the bacon. Here it's easier to have a, a flat platform. Uh, I mixed the, uh, I added egg, Italian breadcrumbs, the red onion, spinach, and the Traeger uh, dry rub that has garlic and I forget the other one. I'm gonna form this into a loaf. directly on the Traeger at 225 uh, like I said earlier for 45 minutes but I don't put anything under it or wrap it it's just directly on the grill all right here's the final product uh, she's all done I just take the temperature it's about 170 to 175 I like to be a little extra sure it took about an hour and 15 minutes at 325 uh, to get that internal temperature um, over 165. All right, here we go. Bacon racked turkey meatloaf. Uh, you also could glaze it in barbecue sauce and let it sit on the smoker for about 15 more minutes to get like a hardened uh, barbecue sauce, but today I feel like going with just uh, plain old fashioned meatloaf. So another one of our family's favorite Traeger recipes is this one here that is on the Traeger app. It's the grilled paprika chicken with jalapeno salsa, except for we make a few modifications. Instead of doing the chicken thighs with the paprika, we actually just do it with the Traeger rub. This one is just the Traeger uh, rub its garlic and chili pepper and it goes great on anything so you take your avocado oil your Traeger rub and fresh squeezed lime and you basically rub it into the chicken thighs and then they go directly onto the Traeger which is outside heating up you could let it marinate if you wanted for a while or you can just put it right on which is what I think we're doing are we putting it right on uh, no, about 30 minutes. So. Okay, so we're going to let it marinate for about 30 minutes. And then what's the cook time on these? 45 minutes. So this is a quick meal. A lot of the Traeger uh, meals take a long time, but these chicken thighs will be done in about 45 minutes. Always temperature your meat and make sure, just because everyone cooks things differently, but ours, we've made this quite a few times and 45 minutes seems to be the standard time. So another super good one, the jalapeno salsa. I'm going to let Jake explain, um, but really you just follow that recipe, right? Yep. You, do you tone down the spiciness at all? Mm -hmm. No. You smoke the jalapenos first. Okay. So the recipe, he just follows it standard. So you smoke these jalapenos first and then we use our blender to make the salsa and it is delicious. The first time we made it and we saw that it had maple syrup in it, we were like, uh, that doesn't sound so good, but it tastes so good with the chicken. And then for a side, you can either do a salad, you could do a vegetable, you could do white rice. Um, those are kind of our go-tos. So. That is what we are having for dinner tonight on the Traeger and this recipe is one that is super good and great, especially if you're gonna have people over because chicken thighs are 
not super expensive so they're not quite as lean as the breasts obviously so not quite as healthy but still um, really really good The uh, salsa recipe calls for smoked jalapenos, um, green onions, but I'm using regular onions, cilantro, lime juice, garlic, distilled white vinegar, and maple syrup. And I'll combine those in the uh, blender, and then it magically makes a salsa. So here's the finished product, the chicken's fresh off the Traeger. And that's how the jalapeno salsa turned out. And I'm gonna serve it with a uh, side salad. Very, uh, very easy dinner to make. All right, tonight I'm doing a smoked tri-tip. Uh, there's uh, several ways you can cook this tri-tip, but I like to uh, first start out by rubbing it with the general Traeger rub with garlic and chili pepper. I know I've already I use it on several other meats, but it's a good stand like go to. I preheated my smoker to 180. I'll, I'll cook it for 180 for about an hour, then increase it to 225 until the internal temperature reaches 130 degrees, and then I'll turn up the Traeger to um, high and then sear both sides of the steak until it reaches about 155 for a kind of a medium well uh, tri-tip. So one important thing to know about the tri-tip that you guys just saw that Jake finished up is that we like our meat medium well, which I know is like not super common, but we like our meat cooked. So Jake said that he cooks the tri-tip to over 150. So obviously adjust your temperatures and your cooking for your desired finished product. We don't like to see blood coming out of our meat and I know we are the rare exception. Traeger people probably are gonna cringe at this, but we like more well done meat. So 150 on the tri-tip um, tonight. That everything seems to crumble I know that you feel all alone in this world, but you have to put your trust into us and we will help you through, cause we only want what's best, what's best for you. I know that you